Hello and welcome to this Blender tutorial brought to you by Lewis Art. My name is Emmanuel Okafo and today we'll be looking at how to create seamless textures from images you got online. So most of the times once we, when you download an image online and you import it to your scene and you try to apply it to object, you will notice some bad looking seams um, like this and these are very undesirable results which, you, uh, you, uh, which most of us don't like. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can fix that with any texture you have you download. So we'll just jump right into Photoshop. We have opened up the image and this is where we'll be taking the fix. So just looking at this section, we cannot really tell the part that is going to give us the error in Blender. So to be able to find that, by the way, it can work in other 3D software. Uh, so to find those parts, you just want to go to filter and scroll down to the order and then you can find offset. So this is going to move the image around to give it a tiling. Nature, um, a tiling kind of effect so you, for, with this you can be able to see those um, problem areas okay so once you have discovered those problem areas and we can see this is the area we need to fix mainly so there are different ways you can clean up and just clean up this kind of stuff in Photoshop so the first method is using the clone stamp and the second one is a content aware feature in Photoshop so we'll be using those two methods to fix this so let's just get this image and try those two methods so if I grab this clone uh, stamp brush, I can just increase the size and I'm reducing the opacity so that I can just sample from several so it will not look so identical. Uh, then you just hold on Alt and click on a spot and you can just paste it on the side that you need to fix. If, and for something for grass, like for something like grass, it's very easy to fix this because it's very random um, and it looks good right off the back. Okay, so you want to be sure not to drag the brush too much to avoid blurring. Um, so that's one way of fixing it. Another nice way of fixing it is just grab, grabbing this polygon tool and just drag and select a certain area. Okay, and we can go ahead and just feather it out a bit so it's not so harsh. You, you want to make it as um, smooth as possible so we hit OK and we can hit shift plus backspace and this uh, menu is going to pop up so most of the times you have different um, stuff selected here so what you want to select is the content aware and once you have this you can just click OK and Photoshop is going to just go ahead and analyze the image and transfer details from another part of the image to this part so most of the times to get the best results you want to blend this and the close stamp, br clone st stamp brush i'm just going to increase opacity so you just want to click click so you want to blend it too, so you get the best result okay so let's do the brick now so for the brick we can duplicate this layer and now we can do the same thing we go to filter order offset and we just play with this to see those problem areas. Okay, so we have seen the vertical areas. Um, the vert this vertical point is one of the um, problem areas in this image. So a very helpful tool will be using the um, content aware feature that will just analyze it and try to fix it. So if we just select this and let's play with the mask, so we get very smooth effect. So we'll just smooth it out, feather it out slightly, and hit OK. And now if you do the same thing, shift backspace and content aware. So as you can see, it's going to try to blend those bricks. And you can go ahead and grab the clone stamp brush and just sample from, from some areas. Just click. So it aligns um, slightly. So we can scale this brush down. Okay, and just try to spend more time on it and just make it look nice. And once you're happy, so just test out if you've really solved the issue, you go back to the filter and try to apply that offset. And if you're not seeing any of your seams, then, then that means you have a seamless texture and we can go ahead and save this. Okay, so now in Blender, we can go to the top view and just duplicate this. 
we select these two images and duplicate them so let's add a different texture to the grass and let's compare so we'll add this one okay so so we can add this one and we'll do the same thing for the brick So as you can see, um, the seams are not so obvious like before. So um, this is a nice starting point and you can build up from here. So Blender Guru just released a tutorial uh, where you can use um, some procedural method to really push this um, even better because um, no, most image can never be like 100% seamless. So using those techniques that Blender Guru is gonna be showing you, you can push your image further. And I'm going to leave a link to that tutorial where he will show you how to even create larger environments um, using uh, procedural technique and you can just use any image and create your own seamless. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Bye bye for now, see you next time.